due to the desire of your fearless leader, me. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go with the whole usual I've been busy, etc. Because, truth be told, I have who isn't in these days. But um, I've decided I'm going to do another few film reviews. Now, apologies if um, this is shaking. I'm actually holding this on my ha with one hand and because I'm doing this on my phone. So, uh, five quick films to go through. Actually, hang a minute. Excuse the, uh, the double chin here. Okay, so. Anyway. Um, so, I went to my local branch of CEX. And, uh, local being Crawley. And I picked up um, about. Actually, I've been to Brighton today as well and I picked up a few extra. So, the first one is this. About time. This I didn't expect to like because I saw it on E4 and it was it is basically a chick flick and it's all about time travel but it's also about how to live in the moment. Um, I will be putting up the links for these in the description as usual. I'm going to move about because I'm trying to find the perfect light and it seems to be here. So, um, it stars uh, Rachel McAdams, Bill Nye and... I'm going to say this wrong, Domhnall Gleeson, and I only recently found out he is the guy who played General Hux in Star Wars Episode 7. And I have that, and I quite like that one. And he is actually very surprising. Now, Rachel McAdams is lovely, and she is brilliant in this. I didn't expect, and Bill Nye, top notch as usual. Uh, it is just a very, very nice little film to watch. Um... I could try and go into it, but I don't think I'd be able to do it justice. So, if you want something that is just a nice, gentle film to watch, then that is the first one to watch. The second film is this, The Core. The Core is about um, Aaron Eckhart and a team of five, other, five others, including uh, Hilary Swank, um, when the core of the planet stops moving and everything goes wrong a uh, usual disaster film the effects in this are ropey as hell some of the, I mean I can't even show you but if you can find the trailer for it or any clips uh, just look it up for instance when they get to the middle the actual center of the planet now bearing in mind we have trouble keeping from what I can tell from various films and such we have trouble keeping track of um, rockets that go into space and if anything's to believe with things like sat nav and local local mobile phones we have trouble keeping track of using yeah you know, find my friend on i on the apple app now somehow they've managed to make it so that you can track people six people in a tube which basically looks like a train to the middle of the planet which is two some something ridiculous like 2000 miles deep how Exactly. I mean, uh, that one. Well, I just can, well, I haven't got the price on it, but it was 50p, so you can kind of see where the quality went on that one. Um, next one is Hollow Man, starring Kevin Bacon and Elizabeth Shue. When was this made? This was made. I don't know. Uh, 2000. So it's a good 17 years old and. Uh, the story again is about a group of scientists who have figured out how to make things turn invisible and they are actually having more trouble making things visible in the end. Kevin Bacon uh, volunteers and suppose and after a while he's only meant to be invisible for a few days and this point he's been in it for nearly two weeks and he's starting to lose the plot because he hasn't had any sleep so he's uh, sleep deprived. He's got no privacy which is weird because obviously he's invisible um, and it's about how he just wants the ultimate freedom etc and he does go out and things go from bad to worse so there's that one then the next one was Sunshine another disaster movie starring Cillian Murphy and oh, hang on. Um, Chris Evans, uh, Cillian Murphy and Michelle Yeoh, oh god, what's his name? Um, he was the guy who did, um, he was in Kingsman. 
and he played Arthur. Oh, that's really going to annoy me. And I can't find his name on here, which is really, really annoying. Sorry about this. Um, oh, God. Uh, I can't remember his name. But he was in, um, again, like I say, he was in Kingsman and he played Merlin. And I can't look it up because I need to be on here to do it. And I can't. Mark Strong. That's it. See, if you don't think about it, it does come back. The harder you think about something, the harder it is to remember. Uh, the sun is dying in this case, so um, a ship has been built with a massive bomb on it, which is going to make a star, which they're going to fire into the sun to make a star within a star. And it's about how they tried it seven years previous, and it didn't work because whatever. The second ship gets to the first one and finds out everything went wrong because the captain was a complete religious, not a nut as such, but he was convinced that God was telling him to, you know, you must let everyone on the earth die because I say so. Not be noble, but if God was going to make you do anything, it would be like paint your paint your front room, in like the old The Evans show. So paint your lounge. You'd be come back and you'd be like, it was weird, love. God told me to do it. He doesn't tell us to do shit like that, you know. I mean, I could go into the whole religion thing again, but I'm not going to because there are a lot of people on here who will see things a hell of a lot differently than I do. But, you know, if God was going to make you do something, you would go and do something good. Like, you know, go out and if you see someone who needs help, help them out. Uh, yeah, if someone falls over, help them up. That sort of stuff. You know, it doesn't have to be a huge thing, it's just simple little things, you know. Come on people, we can get together. Okay, next one. Again, that was 50p by the way. Uh, next one is High Fidelity starring John Cusack and... Why can I not remember Jack Black? Um, the whole story, all these, with the exception of About Time, all the films were about 50p. So as you can imagine, I bought quite a few. Um, this story revolves around... Um, John Cusack owning a record shop. He does the top five of everything that he can think of. Uh, relationships, films, TVs, everything. He does everything. Um, I haven't actually watched this film in years. I watched it last time about 10 years ago. But it was 50p and it's a good film. So I don't know why I didn't buy it in the first place. Right, and then today I uh, was in Brighton and I wanted to go in there to go and find some anime stuff. But I didn't have the time. So I bought a couple of extra ones. So I've just bought this, Highlander 1, starring Sean Connery and Christopher Lambert. And I don't, I, this one I actually don't know the name. But the guy who plays the Kurgan, he played the um, head of the guard in Shawshank Redemption. And I could look him up, and I seem to be, but I wouldn't be able to tell you who he was. I actually don't know. And it's all about immortals who come from a planet as punishment. They've been sent here because of something they've done. And they have no memory of what they are, but they all have this urge to fight each other. And the last, there will be one person who will have everything. Now, this has spawned five films, I think. I have seen the first two. The third one... Um, onward I haven't seen but I have read up about and then the final one is called The Source which kind of went off complete off track completely don't know if it's any good but it went it was a um, DVD to move it was a straight to DVD one so it can't be that good finally this Ghostbusters 1 and 2 not the replacement shit that came out recently now you can argue all you like it's not a good film this, however, is. Both of these, well, I prefer the first one, if I'm honest, and that was only three quid, so, you know, what can you do? Um, I don't need to tell you about the one. Everyone knows Ghostbusters, and, and again, everyone knows Highlander. So I'm going to be getting some more films when I get a chance, and this wonderful thing called money, because I've got... As you can probably tell, a flat full of crap at the moment. It just needs tidying. I know it doesn't look it, but that's all need to be hoovered and whatnot. And I can't show you my table. Actually, yes, I can. Hang on. That's my table full of stuff, which I've got to get rid of. So, that's about that. I 
I'm going to be doing these periodically. Periodically, can't talk today. Um, because I want to, and I'm going to, and you can't stop me. So with that, I'm going to sign off. And if you get a chance, look up the films. I'm going to put the links below, as I said. And uh, that's about it. That wraps it up. So, later.